hello everyone you're welcome back to island academy in today's video i am going to be showing you the components of a trial lens set so if you're not familiar with the components of the trial lens set and what they are used for you should watch till the end and at the end of this video i'm going to be showing you why i prefer to use the trial frame for my tests over the foropter so let's get right into it the trial lens set is one of the most essential tools in optometry. It's primarily used for subjective refraction and some other visual assessments. It allows you to manually determine a patient's refractive error using trial lenses and a trial frame. Let's look at the core components. These lenses are grouped by function. We have the spherical lenses used to correct myopia and hyperopia. We also have the cylindrical lenses which are used to correct astigmatism. And then we have prisms and accessories. We also have the trial frame. Some trial lens sets also come in plastic rims. They basically perform the same functions. The only difference is that these are plastic rims while the other ones are metal rims. And for the plastic rims, the black ones represent the plus lenses while the red ones represent the minus lenses in both spherical and astigmatic components of the lenses. The plus lenses are found by the right side of the box and they usually range from plus 0.25 diopters up to plus 20 diopters in most sets. While the minus lenses are found by the left side of the box and they usually range from minus 0.25 up to minus 20 diopters in most sets as well. We also have the cylindrical lenses. They also come in plus and minus forms and they are usually marked with axis indicators. For the accessories, we have the Jackson cross cylinder used to refine the axis and the power of cylindrical prescriptions i have a video on that this is a frosted lens also acts as an occluder the cross lens contains perpendicular lines used for centering pupils and measuring pupillary distance this is an occluder it is used to close or cover one eye during refraction remember we perform refraction separately the red lens or red filter is used in binocular vision tests. It can also be used to check over correction and under correction of refractive error. Same as the green filter. The green filter also performs the same function. The red and green lenses are also used to perform the words for dot test. This is a white Maddox rod used to measure Fourier most trial lens boxes come with the red, green, and white Maddox rod. This is the Senepeg slit. It can also be used to determine astigmatism. The pinhole is used in visual acuity measurement. It's used to help determine whether the decreased vision is due to a refractive error or to pathological diseases of the eye. Prisms help diagnose and manage binocular vision anomalies and phorias. They are usually marked in prism diopters if you haven't given this video a like do well to like this video it helps youtube to push it out there for more optometrists to see if you haven't subscribed yet you are welcome to join island academy do well to subscribe and stay up to date with more videos coming soon i promise i was going to tell you why i prefer trial frame to the use of foropter the first advantage is that it gives your patient that realistic feeling with the use of the trial frame, your patient is able to move his or her head and your patient is also able to make use of the peripheral vision. Unlike the foropter that is just fixed, your patient is fixed to a particular space. Also, if you have patients who are severely visual impaired, the trial frame is your best option. If you have patients who cannot sit upright or children, you use the trial frame because, of course, you cannot use the foropter on such patients the vertex distance of the foropter is different from the trial frame because your the trial frame is more like the end result for your patients and don't forget to 
tell your patient to walk around with the trial frame after your refraction tell your patient to look down look on look at the floor look at something far away and be sure your patient is comfortable i do that a lot i do that for all my refraction even if you use your foropter make sure you try a frame put your prescription in the trial frame tell your patient to walk around observe the floor look at something far away and be sure he or she is comfortable we have come to the end of this video if you have enjoyed it so far if you have learned something do well to like if you haven't liked the video yet share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so you can stay up to date with my subsequent videos